uh, today I am going to discuss about the memory management retain cycles and the usage of the keywords big and unknown uh, so let's start okay first I will tell you the uh, best usage of dnet method in our code and by using the dnet method we can is uh, easily find out the memory leaks okay let's create one new project go to file pick new click on projects and ios single view application and next put some name I'm just giving the retain cycle okay fine this uh, organization name bundle identifier organization identifier bundle identifier language preferences I am taking a just shift code data we don't want device iPhone okay doesn't matter next okay I'm going to put on desktop okay create okay okay done we have done great uh, let's create one class a new class shift class just go to here give the name just text okay just done good enough go to that class okay fine just give the name shift class I'm giving as a text okay fine super class no super class needed currently okay just giving the init okay fine no parameters just I am writing here printf so in it print in it so whenever this class will be initialized this print will be called okay fine like that we'll add the dnit method whenever all the instances of this class will be released this d init will be called okay fine so let's going to use this okay just go here what we will do we'll remove this unnecessary comments from here okay now let's see we'll create one where here okay just give some uh, instance instance okay whatever and what we'll do what is the type so we can say it's text okay fine this is optional okay fine and what will initialize our class as well here no issues okay text okay so this is the initialization happen okay for this class okay fine good enough now what we'll do will set this instance equals to nil okay great now let's see how the d in it is our friend let's run this we are putting just breakpoint okay okay fine so, so as you can see this class initialization is happened so we can see on the console in it is printed good now this instance equals to nil we are setting then see this d init method is called because all the instances of this text class is being deallocated okay let's see so there is no retain cycle currently for the text class okay now let's create some retain cycles and identify those by using the dnet so go to the text class and take this instance 
go to text class and put this instance here as this is optional okay great now go to here do two things here create two variables like bare text one equals to type of text okay fine equals to text this is one text one now let that take text two okay great two variables taken text one text two okay okay let's see now what we'll do we'll take text one dot instance tens equals to text two okay so text one having a strong reference to text two okay now what we'll do text two dot instance equals to text one okay okay so text two having the strong reference to text one okay so those text one and text two are reverse to each other means both are text one is pointing to text two and text two is pointing to text one so this is the retain cycle so let's run this code okay So as we can see this two time initialization is happened for the text class okay fine two time initialization is happened so what we can do here text one dot instance equals to text two now what we'll do we'll try to release text one okay equals to nil we are re releasing text one okay now we are releasing text two okay equals to nil okay we release text one and text two okay we need to take as a optional because we want to release okay fine this is asking for optional okay fine now let's run the code so see two time initialization is happen great fine fine now we release text one and text two see and this so even we release text one and text two so what happened in this case when we release text one so text two is holding to text one and when we release to text two so text one is holding to text two so no one is d in his life so here we have a retain cycle having a memory leak so how can we come over with this situation go here and simply we can take this as a b square so b variable is nothing but whenever a strong pointer is released from a class then the b variable is automatically released if no one is taking the ownership of a class then this big variable will automatically release so now let's see what is happening here yes so two times this text one and text two is initialized now run this run this so 
when we set it text one equals to nil see text one is released because d init method is called now text two is d init perfect so as we can see both variable is got released so we don't have any more written cycles okay great now let's do some exercise uh, using some blocks how like uh, retain cycles happen in the blocks okay let's take one simple example and we'll go okay let's see okay let's go here what we'll do we'll create one simple block here bear uh, block okay great a block and uh, we'll give some block over here okay fine fine then this argument and this we don't want something so this is block okay we'll give this optional and put as a nil okay block is ready okay we have created one block we'll delete this we don't need this and we can take some variable here as a let constant something uh, um, uh, value or something like 5 okay so we have a block and a value of 5 okay now let's go here and just I'm removing this stuff we don't want this anymore okay fine okay now what we will do uh, here we'll create an instance of that class so text equals to text this and we can take as text type of text anyway no need we can put as a optional okay we yeah, are good enough now what we'll do we'll release this text here okay and go here and in initialization what we'll do we'll do this a block okay like that and what we'll do print self dot a value okay let's see what is happening here now we'll run this we'll put the breakpoint for better understanding okay let's run what is happening we can find out here so as you can see the block initialization is happened okay this block initialization is happened okay so when we have created the instance of text class here text so this text having the strong reference to the block this block we have a strong reference to this block okay now when we set it to nil see nothing is happened to the console so what happened when we called that here as a self dot value so this again is holding to the strong reference to that so it's created a retain cycle so how can we neglect this retain cycle okay so what we can do here we can simply uh, take beak here okay beak okay and self reference of beak okay and in okay fine yep it looks good so 
what I did I have just created a beak reference of this okay this asking okay warning it's any it's not able to identify now let's run what is happening yes initialization is happened okay now let's go here and see d init is called so there is no more retain cycles and we don't have any memory leaks great stuff okay so as we have seen that uh, by using blocks how the we should be careful okay we should be careful so we can neglect the retain cycles in our code okay now i'll give you some more example for the blocks where uh, the retain cycle will not be created okay i'll give one simple example okay uh, so we'll update this uh, like that if i'll do this as a is let as block I remove from here and put this block here then it's not going to create a retain cycle because when this initialization is happen okay it's not a strong pointer to that class okay so let's see here go here and simply run this see here in it is happened and see d in it is happened so when we created a reference of the text class here it's created but this is the local and it's not holding the any instance of this block okay so no need to use beak it's automatically got released great now <sighs> what we can do previously i have used here as a beak okay so in place of beak we can also use the unowned okay okay unowned but slightly difference between unowned and beak so beak generally what happen when the beak will be released it will be automatically set to nil so if we'll call any method to that nil instance nothing will happen means our application won't crash okay if we are using the unowned means it will not be released auto it will not be set it to nil automatically and it will point to some garbage instance and when we'll try to call a method will get some runtime exception so uh, what we can say we can use the unknown whenever we are pretty much sure whenever we are pretty much sure that we are never getting that instance as a nil okay for now that's it from my side for this retain cycles thank you guys see you later in our next video